Hey, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. How's everybody doing? Um, what do I got here? Stratomatic unboxing. Now, this set is in a Hall of Fame box, but uh, not related to Hall of Fame at all. So let's see what we got. All right. We got one, two, three, four of their charts, right? And that's good to have, extra charts all over the place. We got four of those. Uh, let's see what else we get here. Finally, the opportunity to play in the major leagues. Man, I always wanted to play in the major leagues. Yes, you can actually have your name and statistics printed on a Stratomatic player card. Oh, that's cool. That's what I've always wanted. Okay, there's a baseball bulletin, the 18th year. You can get that as well. I don't know how far back that goes. but uh, Stratomatic baseball tournaments. Come spend the weekend and test your drafting and managing skills with other players in your area. L.A., Newark, Port St. Lucie, Phoenix, Newark, Portland, Philadelphia, Denver, Port St. Lucie, San Jose, Albany, Los Angeles. This is 2003. Okay. January 15th to 18th. So I need to go back in time. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, now we're getting to the business. How to play Stratomatic. Look at this easy to read, easy to follow. Rule book, plenty of color illustrations, large font, straightforward, easy to understand, clear and concise instructions. Wow, look at that. Okay, amazing. Let's see, you get the last part. So you get one, you get two, you get three, you get four different rules levels. All right, let's continue and see what else we got. CD-ROM game version, 8.0 for Windows. You want to get the CD-ROM version? Deluxe Pass Season Discs. There's a ton of those. Those are Each disc is $20. The game, I believe, the upgrade with package with cards includes 999 board game cards in 2002 season. That's $49.95. Wow. All right. Okay, here it is. The 2002 season information. Okay, but I don't think this is the 2002 season. Um, super advanced weather effects for 2002. 2002 season American League ballpark. 1975 super advanced weather effects. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we're getting to it. This is the basic fielding chart. It's got five levels. All right, what is this all about here? We got new rules for 2000. Catcher blocking the plate. New rules for 1999. Corrections to the rule book. Got a bunch of changes here. We got a couple of score sheets, a few score sheets. See that? That is the, it's one team on each page rather than two teams on a page. I don't know why they did that, but I guess you can play against somebody else and they can keep score on theirs and you can keep score on yours. Here somebody was going to play the, the, since the 75 World Series most likely. Ah, it's back in front. No, they're going to play, ball, right. The 75 World Series, Cincinnati and Boston. There it is. They started playing. They rolled one player. It was Louis Tiant versus Don Gullett. And uh, Tiant pitched to one batter, the D.H. Cooper. And Cooper hit into a fielder's No, actually flied out to the first baseman. A pop-up to the first baseman. And that was it. Then the guy said, I don't have time for this. I'm going to sell this to somebody who has more time. 
This is, I guess, uh, where you would keep your stats. Keep your stats for your players. And here's the advanced strategy chart. A, B, C, D, and uh, squeeze play, sacrifice, hit and run. Ah, this is the other main side here. All right, let's see what this is. 75 Stratomatic 24 team baseball rosters. The Mets, Sapodaca, Baldwin, Hall, Kuzman, Lockwood, Matlack, Seaver, Stone, Tate, Webb, Grody, Stearns, John Stearns was with the team by 75. Infield, Garrett, Harrelson, Heideman, Crane, Pulmian, Phillips, and Torrey, Joe Torrey. Outfielders, Powerhouse Outfield, Kleins, Gene Kleins, Kingman, Milner, Staub, Unser and Vale. Wow, they went into the season saying, we're going to win it all with this team. What did the Yankees have? Dobson, Pat Dobson, Gura, Hunter, Lyle, Martinez, Rudy May, Medich, Pagan, Tidro. Catchers were Dempsey, Hi uh, Herman, and Munson. Infield was Alomar, Chambliss, Mason, Nettles, and Stanley. Outfielders were Blant, Bloomberg, Bonds, Coggins, Maddox, Pinella, White, and Williams. And then the lineups most used. That's good. That's helpful. If you guys just want to throw a quick game together, that's a good thing to have. Advanced fielding chart. Picture cards. These are good to just make copies of and just keep them in full sheets because, you know, there's not a lot of uh, they already had the DH in the American League, so. Aha, here's the blue. I don't know. I never had a blue version of this. I have the green version. But I don't have a blue version, but this is a fake stadium. In other words, it's not an actual stadium like Wrigley Field or something like that. So this is a made-up stadium. I guess they thought they were going to get sued if they actually had a real stadium. All right, here are the cards. This is what we've been waiting for. 1975, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Chicago NL, LA, San Francisco. Let's do the, put the nationally on this side, Houston, Minnesota, Montreal, St. Louis, California, New York NL. I don't remember, was Houston, I'm not sure if Houston was nationally or Americanly. They go back and forth. San Diego, we'll find out in a minute. Cincinnati, Baltimore. All right, so the left side is going to be American League. And we'll look at a couple of teams. So this is the 75 set. Oh, well, it was pretty much unplayed. I mean, I don't see a mark on these cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And basically, uh, you know, he played one game. I think he probably put together Cincinnati. That probably has because he was going to play that game. Pete Rose. Let's see if the... Yeah, Ken Griffey batting third, clean up his bench, and it's Foster. So he set this up for a game. Perez, Dan Dreesen, Cesar Geronimo, and Dave Concepcion. And then, of course, Don Gullett, like we saw in that, uh, in that score sheet he filled out. This was the team that he put together here to play a game, and he only rolled once, and he put it away, said, nah, I'm not going to do that. Look at, look at Morgan's uh, basic three column. Two's a walk, three's a walk, four's a walk, five's a single and a line out, six a walk, seven a walk, eight a walk, nine a walk, ten a walk, eleven a walk, and a twelve a walk. Now look at Joe Morgan's one column. Walk, walk, home run, ground ball, home run, double, triple, single, double, single, 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 fly ball. Yikes. What did he bat? He batted 327 with 132 walks, 27 doubles, six triples, 17 home runs. Man, he was some kind of hitter. He only had 52 strikeouts. Pete Rose, 317, 47 doubles, four triples, seven home runs, 89 walks. His two column is a killer column. That's a great thing that I love about uh, Stratomatic. Every player card was different. In some way, shape, or form, it was going to be different. That's what I love about that. You never know. When you roll, you don't know. You know you'll know the column, but uh, you're not going to know the exact result, and I, I really like that.
because you can always look at the column, but you don't even have to look at the column. Um, three, Griffey. Griffey has a good three column. From six all the way to 12, he gets on base. He batted 305. What, everybody's a 300 hitter on this team? Oh, no, bench is 283 with 28 home runs, 39 doubles. Holy smokes. 65 walks. He's got home runs in 8 and 9. 9 is 1 to 18, and then a double 19 to 20. So it's a splits double. These cards don't have the ballpark. Oh, yeah, they do. They have the diamond shots. Okay, has the diamond shots on the opposite side. 9, 10, diamond shots. 12, a diamond shot in column 2 against right-handers. Against lefties, he's got a diamond shot in the 2 column. On 9, 1 to 18. <clears throat> George Foster, 23 home runs. 300 average, another 300 hitter. Holy smokes. A big red machine. Yikes. So he's got diamond shots here at 9 in the 1 column against righties in the 10 column. And he's got, against lefties, he's got three diamond shots. He's got a 9, a 10, and a 12. Bring them in against lefties for sure. Tony Perez, oh, 282, 54 walks, 20 home runs. On his way out, I think he gets traded after this season. Or is it after the 76 season he gets traded? That's when they bring in Dan Dreesen. Nothing really spectacular on Tony Perez. Dan Dreesen, 281 hitter and 200 at bat, so he started to show that he could hold his own. And he's got a good white, a good one column versus lefties. Wow, look at that. So he hit lefties fairly well. Both one columns are lights out. Both one columns, righty and lefty. Cesar Geronimo, 257 hitter. He was a defensive whiz with a one in center field and a minus five arm. Yikes. And an E3. Didn't make errors. Had a ton of the range. Had a powerhouse arm, a cannon for an arm. Nobody's advancing on him. No wonder they, they won the, uh, the division and then the World Series eventually. Dave Concepcion, he's a one as well. I wonder how many ones they had on this guy. That's two ones. First baseman, two. Wow, and he, he's only a part-time guy. Perez is a three, so I guess you would bring in Dreesen late in the, in the game. Uh, George Foster's a two in left field, a two in right field. Johnny Bench is a one catcher. Ken Griffey's a three right fielder. <clears throat> Excuse me. So actually, um, you could bring in, uh, put Foster out there. Um, P. Rose, a three at third base, but a two in left field. So he played a lot of outfield, so he was a really good outfielder. He, he knew how to play outfield. Another for one, Joe Morgan at second base. And I think he was a leadoff hitter, right? I think he was a leadoff hitter. Joe Morgan, I believe. Yeah. Backup catcher, plumber. All right. So that's the World Series winner for 1975. Let's look at the challenger, how what they look like. All right. Let's see. Boston, here it is. Carlton Fisk. 14 doubles, 4 triples, 10 home runs. Only played half the season, so he was injured. But he had a 331 average that season. Against righties, he's got a crazy column two. Against lefties, he's got a crazy column two, a crazy column one. He's got two columns with lots of hits against lefties, so he probably hit lefties a little bit better, I'm imagining. Denny Doyle, so he was a two catcher. Doyle is a two second baseman, batted 298. Denny Doyle, holy smokes. How many at bats? 325 at bats. Probably batting like ninth in the in the lineup. You got a lot of going on here in column two towards the bottom end. A little bit of this and that on column three against righties. Did not hit lefties very well. He's got a couple of hits in column two. But uh, I think most of his hitting was against righties. <clears throat> and he, because of, obviously he's a lefty. Excuse me, Fred Lynn. So Fred Lynn batted 331. 47 doubles, 21 home runs, 7 triples. So against lefties, he's got a good column 1. Against righties, he's got a good column 3 and a good column 1. He's got some uh, star uh, diamond shots 
on uh, column 1, on 2, 10, and 11. And against left, he's got diamond shots at 3 and 11. Jim Rice, another 300 hitter, 309, 30, 36 walks, 22 home runs, 29 doubles. Good versus lefties. I have one column versus lefties is a killer. And even the two column will do some damage versus lefties. Versus righties, he's got a good second part of his column one and an okay column two. So he was pretty good against lefties and righties. Yes, 269 on his way declining. His declining years, his twilight years. 30 doubles, one triple, 14 home runs. Lefty, let's see, he played He played the whole season. Um, so there's not much here on this card. He's a first baseman at two. Left fielder, he's a one. So if you put him in the outfield for defense, he'd be good. Cecil Cooper has a good 75, batted uh, 311 with 300 bats. He's a first baseman four, so no good defensively. Dwight Evans, what kind of a fielder is he? He's a right, one right fielder. His arm rating is a minus four. So he's got a good strong arm, and he's a good right fielder, top quality. He's got an okay against righties. He's got a good column one. Against lefties, he's got a good column one. Rick Burleson, shortstop two, at a 2.52. E29, so he made some errors. Uh, Rico Petroselli, 402 at bats. He was still playing. He batted uh, 239, so we get lower and lower here as we go. Bill Spaceman Lee, ERA is almost 4, 17, and 9. Louis Tian was basically lights out generally, but he had a tough season, 75, with a 4 ERA. Still won 18 games, but uh, he scored a lot of runs on him. They must have. Jacked up the ball. A lot of balls were going out on him. I don't know, I'm looking for a yeah, home run there on two. Home run on five uh, against lefties. Home run. Uh, that's a diamond shot on three. Uh, home run on five. Hmm. He gave up a few home runs, I'm imagining. Rick Wise was on this team with a 3.95 ERA. He won 19 games. Reggie Cleveland won 13 games. He pitched uh, 171 innings. So that was basically probably their four main guys. And then you had Moret, or Moray, however you pronounce it. Uh, he pitched 145 innings and a 3.60 ERA. Four, 14 wins for him. Dick Pohl was around. Dick Pohl pitched 90 innings. Anyway, those are the two World Series teams, so I have an opportunity here to play some uh, 1975 Stratomatic. Very hard season to find. And um, hope you – oh, yikes. Hope you enjoyed the presentation here, the unboxing of a hard-to-find set from Stratomatic. That's Atlanta. And here's the Athletics, who are still a good team. Athletics, still a good team. Bill North batted a 273, 17 doubles, 5 triples, 1 home run, 81 walks. And uh, and I know he usually had a lot of uh, steals. He's a center fielder, too. Claudel Washington was on the team. He batted 308 and, and played the whole season, so he could hit. And he also stole a lot of bases. Billy Williams. He played the whole season, about a 244. Hit 23 home runs, though. So that doesn't sound bad. Reggie Jackson, all right, played the whole season. 39 doubles, three triples, 36 home runs, 250 average, 67 walks. Gene Tennis, he played the whole season. 17 doubles, 29 home runs, 106 walks. Joe Rudy, what kind of defense did they give him? One in left field. Bando has a two at third base. Bando batted 230. He started, his batting average started going lower and lower, but he did used to walk a lot, so his on base percentage was very high. Phil Garner was on this team, batted 246, played the whole season as well. 
Bird Campaneras played the whole season, 15 doubles, 3 triples, 4 homers, 265 average with 50 walks. Vita Blue, how did he do? He won 22 games in 75, a 301 ERA, 278 innings pitched. Vita Blue, yikes, what a great name, huh? Kenny Hosman with 18 wins and a 315 ERA. These guys had a powerhouse team. Stan Bonson with 19 wins. Didn't know that. Dick Bosman with 11 wins and 151 innings pitched. He was, I guess, one of the starters as well. Glenn Abbott started a few games, 114 innings pitched. Jim Todd started a few games, 122. And then, of course, Raleigh Fingers with a 298 ERA, and uh, he was their closer. Paul Lindblad was another guy out of the bullpen. So these will be these guys will be fun to play. I'll, I'm looking forward to playing games with this and replaying 1975 a little bit with Stratomatic as well. So this is an exciting uh, opportunity for me. Still got my dice in here. Got more dice. I always need more dice. Um, more rubber bands. What, where would I be without rubber bands in my life? This is Tony Porter. Cards and Dice TV. Um, enjoy our great hobby, man. Um, and uh, and I do it all the time. I relax and just enjoy our great hobby and uh, be supportive of other guys' projects and uh, just uh, stay healthy. Remember to join Universal Baseball Association, uh, Association Facebook group. That's the Facebook group for guys that hate Facebook groups. And there's lots of reasons to hate Facebook groups. I'm the first one to tell you. And everything, all those reasons were turned upside down or the opposite happens at the uh, Universal Baseball Association Lounge. Okay, so bring your uh, your velvet uh, sports jacket and your pipe and kick back, play some pool, smoke some cigars, drink some cognac at the lounge, and I will see you guys uh, soon. Take care.